That bottle though, the bottle game is crazy. <laughs> What's going on YouTube Fragrance family? Welcome to my first impression on the tragedy of Lord George by Penn Halligans. Um, so I'm really excited about this first impression because there hasn't been too much talk in regards to that portrait series from Penn Halligans. The bottles, we just got to give it a minute. The bottle here is um, simply the reason why I got this. Um, blind purchase. Um, I never smelt this fragrance. Pricing is out of this world. So if you take a look at the pricing, yeah, she's pricey, but the bottle <laughs> almost worth it. Um, so of course it's not all about aesthetics. We got to look at the juice inside and I'm going to let you know if you have the same type of nose as me, is it worth your money? So before I get into that, I just want to thank my partner, FragranceX.com for this scent. Uh, you can purchase this scent actually on FragranceX.com. You can utilize my code ROBES08 to get 15% off on this particular fragrance or anything on their website. So I have sprayed the tragedy of Lord George on my arm right here. I am wearing a hoodie. Yes, it's starting to get cold in Canada. We actually got a tons of rain today. Um, so it is much cooler than expected. Uh, we had the AC on today in my house, so I turned that off, but it's still cold in my house. Hence the hoodie. Um, so I got my first spray right here. I've sprayed here uh, a couple hours ago and uh, I actually sprayed the strip. It's nice. It, it really is a nice scent. I'm going to spray again on my hand here just to remind me of this introduction. Now the introduction itself, I'm very much reminiscent of this brown juice. It really does give you that brown feeling. It has a um, really a dark sense to it, but it really is. <clears throat> it's one of those that um, really caught me off guard. It has that old school classic fougere feel of a Penhaligans fragrance. Uh, Penhaligans is known for old English style fragrances. Um, a lot of them not up my alley. This one is actually a little more up my alley. And you guys know I only own one Penn Halligans, two now. Uh, I own Satorial. That's it. Um, this brand is is not a classic scent. Sometimes, you know, I appreciate classic scents, but some of them, um, it's just maybe a little too old for me. Um, this fragrance right here really blends a lot of uh, modern notes that uh, really appeal to me. Um, things like, uh, of course, a, a brandy, tonka bean, um, notes like that, and it really invigorates and, and utilizes the, the classic style. So the opening starts off with the, um, they say a brandy, um, it, it has, I'm not going to say it has, it has the, uh, the appeal of a boozy and it really isn't that boozy. It's more of a, uh, I, I know one review uh, said that it was a transparent uh, brandy, and I would agree with that assessment. It really has the the imagery of having um, a, a drink um, close to you. It just has that darkness to the to the set of feel of, of that. Not overly boozy, but it has the the aspects of it that is meshed very well. With a shaving soap, yes, a shaving soap-like appeal, shaving cream-like appeal um, with the heavy tonka. Um, there is going to be some tonka bean in here. It doesn't show the full grasp of the tonka bean. Um, not one of the best tonka bean um, notes in the game. You know, that is up to tonka bean, but by Um Also, Fave Delicious, we'll say, but um, it doesn't show like that cherry-like vibe of a tonka, but it has that nutty aspect of the tonka, which is very, very nice. If I had to describe this, I would have to say this is the manliest, manliest uh, soapy scent I ever smelt. Um, it really has that darkened appeal. Um, it takes that classic fougère feel and uh, really, in my opinion, makes it much more modern. Um, so something like a Rive Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent, very much a um, you know a shaving soap, shaving uh, cream like uh, scent, very very masculine. Yes, uh, however, very classic. I'm um, very much. Um, something, and I'm not putting on Arif Gosh, an excellent scent, but this takes more modern take, uh, almost a darker take to the scent. And these fougères really have a classic feel to them. And this 
uh, almost brings up both sides of the coin. Now, once you get more into the dry down, the more of that barbershop soapiness that you get. Uh, but it's mixed in with darker notes, and this is something that a lot of soapy fragrances lack. Um, amber, um, tonka bean, and woods. Um, very, very much, uh, how can I say, the balance of this scent is very well done with the soapiness. The tonka takes center stage, uh, at least that nutty aspect. I, I really can't stray away from that nutty aspect um, with some powder and some sweetness to this scent too. Um, overall, the tragedy of Lord George, it brings something familiar to the game, um, yet it's so unique. Um, I love the bounce from the barbershop appeal, that fougiat appeal, that classic feel to the fragrance, that classic Penhaligon's feel. However, utilizing more modern notes to man it up a bit, make it a little more interesting and make it much more modern. Um, something that uh, really appeals to me, actually. Um, the most interesting scent from my... Uh, current haul that I'm doing my first impressions on here. Um, really, you know, there's a, a couple drawbacks that I'm already feeling out of this fragrance. I haven't worn it too much just because this is, uh, again, I could wear it at summer nights. So this actually would be perfect for summer nights. So I've worn it a few times, but uh, uh, one thing that I've noticed with this fragrance is uh, the lack of push on it. Um, it's not pushing on my skin as much as I would want projection. Longevity is pretty good. It gives me an eight hours. Um, and the, the other thing about this fragrance is the pricing. Um, the pricing is something that I'm like, eh, I smell it, I love it, but is it worth that huge price tag bottle? The bottle itself sells it really for me, but the opening's beautiful, outstanding. It's that dry down that I'm just, mm, I'm on the cusp and um, it's definitely something that I would highly recommend to try. Um, and this, this whole brand, this portrait series is getting a lot of hate actually, um, online. If you take a look at base notes, I think this is all negative. This one gets like all negatives and it's definitely not worth getting all the negatives. And I think it's all about price and yes, price is a huge factor, but you really can't take a look at a scent only on price. Um, so if you can get a sample, get one and see, because I think it's a very interesting scent. This is one of those that... You're just gonna have to wait for my review on this. I'm gonna have to test, test, test. And uh, I think I'm gonna really enjoy testing this, especially in the fall. Um, so hopefully I can review this uh, in, this fall for all of you because it's, I think it, it's gonna be a winner, I think. So thank you for watching. And as usual, for all my first impression videos, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you have smelt this fragrance, if you hated it, you loved it. Um, I love to hear everybody's feedback. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.